Hello, and welcome to our short video for prospective transfer students who are interested in coming to the University of Maryland Department of Animal and Avian Sciences. My name is Dr. Sarah Balcom, and I am the director of the undergraduate program, and I am happy to give you this brief series of consideration for you as you prepare to take your studies at your transfer university and then join us later in your curriculum. In this short video, I hope to give you an overview of our program, help you navigate our website a little bit so that you can find the resources that you need, give you some advice on courses to take while you're at your other university or community college, and provide you with some next steps for applying to the university and joining us in the department. My first piece of advice to you is to please check out our website. We have a lot of information there for you, both for you as a prospective student to get to know our program better, and then current student resources that will allow you to access things like curriculum worksheets and benchmark contracts so that you can better understand the courses you'll need to take. Finally, we have a ton of information on there about different types of student opportunities, from internships and jobs to clubs and Greek organizations that might be of interest to you given your species interests. To start, I would like to give you an overview of our curriculum. This is something that you can find on our undergraduate pages under current students. Fundamentally, we have two key options in our major. The first one is called Animal Care and Management, and it is designed for students who want to leave the university and go on to a career in animal husbandry or management or a related field, perhaps work for animal industry or do something in regulatory affairs. Our next option is what we call the science pre-professional option. And this is really intended for students who want to go on in veterinary medicine, graduate school, or some other advanced scientific training. Our third option is what's called the combined ag veterinary medicine option. And this was put together for students who would like to complete their career at the University of Maryland, not having finished all of our requirements, go on to veterinary school at the Virginia Maryland Regional College of Veterinary Medicine, and then transfer back their first year courses to meet our fourth year requirements. This is not a degree granting option, but it is a choice for students who are looking to save tuition money by completing their animal sciences requirements in part in veterinary school at the Virginia Maryland Regional College of Veterinary Medicine. For students who join this option and decide to stay on for a fourth year with us, they are welcome to simply switch back into the science pre-professional option, as the two options share most of their coursework. On our website, you will see a curriculum worksheet, which details all of the required courses to complete the option. An example of a four-year plan, which is what we call a graduation plan, or a way of finishing your degree requirements in the usual four or so years. And finally, what we call a benchmark contract. This is a series of classes that we expect you to have successfully completed by the end of your second, fourth, and sixth semesters in the major, so that we know you're making adequate progress toward your degree. For both options, we have a series of core courses that build on each other over the course of your time with us. To start is Animal Sciences 101 and its Lab 103, Principles of Animal Science. This course is taught every fall and spring and is the foundation on which the rest of your coursework will be built. In the next series, we have Comparative Anatomy and Physiology, Anatomy being a fall course and Physiology being a spring course, that give you a fundamental understanding of the animal body and how it works. Building on that knowledge comes basic animal nutrition and applied nutrition, where you learn how to feed and manage animals from a metabolic and nutritional standpoint. Other core courses include calculus and microeconomics, an introductory biology course, and two semesters of chemistry. Where the courses become different then is in the two career options. For the animal care and management students, we will ask you to take an additional business management course, a course in either genetics or animal breeding plans, three of our 200 level animal management courses, where you will get more in-depth knowledge of the care and management of a particular species or related group of species, reproductive physiology, and an additional four animal science electives at the three or 400 level, what we call advanced electives. On the science pre-professional track, the courses are more science focused. And so we will ask you to take organic chemistry two, general chemistry two, and two semesters of introductory physics. We will ask you to take an ecology course, one animal management course, three of our advanced electives, a genetics course, and either biochemistry or cell biology. 
To know what courses you need to take, you need to simply look online. This is where the curriculum worksheets for each of our three options will be very helpful. What I'm going to do next is show you around the worksheets for the animal care and management and science pre-professional options. When you click on a curriculum worksheet on our website, you will get a PDF that looks like this. In it are three columns, A, the general education requirements for the University of Maryland, B, specific animal science requirements, and C, additional electives that will help you meet the 120 credit hours you will need to earn a Bachelor of Science degree at the University of Maryland. Briefly, in column A, you'll see that we have some specific animal science required courses listed with their general education designations. That means that completing these courses help you both to complete a general education credit as well as making completion towards the animal sciences requirements. To take an example, the first highlighted example is Math 120, 130, or 140, all of which are different types of calculus courses that can be used to satisfy the animal sciences requirement as well as the MA for math slash AR for analytical reasoning requirements of the university's general education program. What I've done here is highlighted courses that should be easy to take at other universities and ones that we encourage you to take prior to transferring to the animal sciences program. I've circled, but not highlighted, BSCI 223, which is our microbiology course. At the University of Maryland, it is designated as an I-series course, which is a course that is designed to inspire, innovate, imagine, or other fancy I words. It is more difficult to find a course at another university that is both microbiology and I-series that transfers here, but it doesn't hurt to look. In column B, you'll see our specific animal sciences requirements laid out for you. It would be difficult to come from a transfer university that's a community college or not at a land grant and find equivalents for our ANSC labeled courses. However, if you're coming from another land grant university with a department of animal sciences, it may be possible to take some of these courses prior to transferring here. I have highlighted Bio 160 and Chem 231 as those should be courses that are generally available everywhere. And finally, you need to graduate from the University of Maryland with 120 credit hours, at least 60 of which are earned at UMD. So column C is a space to list any additional courses you might take. For the science pre-professional worksheet, you'll see that I have done very similar. There are more science classes that are in this option, as I've previously mentioned, and you see them in column B. I have highlighted them here to encourage you to take them at different universities. I do want to give you one note, however. General Chemistry 2, which is offered as the fourth chemistry course in the University of Maryland sequence, is something that you have to take on campus here. Specifically, Gen Chem 2 Lab, which is our Chemistry 272, cannot be transferred from any other university. Our chemistry department will not make exceptions for this. So my advice to you as potential transfer students coming in on the science pre-professional track is to wait to take General Chemistry 2 in its lab here at the University of Maryland. I have been here for 10 years and I have never seen an exception to this policy. Some other advice while we're on that topic. For students coming in for either option, we strongly encourage you to take calculus or the equivalent of Math 120, 130, or 140, or at a minimum pre-calculus, the equivalent of our Math 113. In addition, please take an introductory biology course that transfers as Bi-Sci bi 170, 171, General Chemistry 1, which transfers as Chemistry 131, 132, Organic Chemistry 1, which translates as Chem 231, 232, and a microeconomics course. For students who look to transfer here on the science pre-professional track, in addition to the courses I already listed, please plan on taking genetics, which translates as BiSci 222. A special note on that, there are a number of courses at other institutions that will transfer back to the University of Maryland as BiSci 222, but not our genetics course, which is ANSC 327. If you can take a genetics course elsewhere that translates back to the University of Maryland as BiSci 222, we will accept it for our genetics requirement. In addition, if you can, find a microbiology course that tra transfers over here as BiSci 223. As I mentioned before, sometimes this is hard to do. Finally, try and take Organic Chemistry 2 while you're at your other university, just so that you have more time in your schedule to fit in all the animal science classes you will need to take here. 
before you register for any courses at your community college or for your university, if you think you're going to be transferring here, make sure that you know that those courses will transfer here as the courses you need to complete our curriculum. How do you do this? Go to the Transfer Credit Services webpage where you can click on the database of transfer course evaluations. The database will give you four options for searching. You can search simply by your transfer institution, or you can be more specific and look for courses of ours at your transfer institution. Alternatively, if you're looking for options for, say, community colleges, you may want to look at specific Maryland courses and see at which community colleges they might be offered. Also, for those of you interested in study abroad, there is a way to study there is a way to look for study abroad options that translate back as animal science requirements. Some other advice is that when you apply, please don't forget to send your AP and IB scores directly to the University of Maryland. Even if they show up on your transcript from your current institution, they will not be applied here unless you go back to the College Board or to the IB program and have those specific scores sent directly to the University of Maryland. While we're at it, please make sure to keep your grades up. In the Department of Animal and Avian Sciences, we have a C minus minimum grade requirement for all of our required courses. So you don't want to take a course elsewhere and find out that you need to retake it to come here. Additionally, if you're at a Maryland community college and you complete your associate's degree, you have benefits transferring to the University of Maryland. One of the most important of which is that and a verified associate's degree, again, from a Maryland community college, will mean that the only general education program you will be required to take at UMD is a professional writing course. This makes it much easier to schedule the remainder of your animal science courses. My other advice to you is plan on spending two and a half to three years in our curriculum. Even taking all of the classes that we recommend, it can be very difficult to finish an entire animal sciences degree in just two years. And that has to do with the way that our curriculum layers on itself, building on earlier courses so that you can expand your knowledge in later courses. As you can see from this chart, because we only offer our courses either in the fall or the spring, with the exception of 101, 103, we have to have students wait to take courses in the sequence until they're ready for them. With some careful planning, you can get out in two and a half years, but make sure you're doing that careful planning now. So what are your next steps? First, check out the Pre-Transfer Advising Office website located at pretransferadvising.umd.edu. They will have counselors available to discuss with you your current transcript and what it would take for you to be able to transfer to the University of Maryland. Also, please check out our college admissions page where you can find more information about the College of AGNR, Agriculture and Natural Resources, and link up with our admissions representatives in the college. They can also help you make connections with current students, clubs, and anyone else who may be of interest to you. Finally, please don't hesitate to contact us if you have more questions. Ms. Hannah Gorey, a graduate of our program, is our current undergraduate program coordinator. And again, I am the undergraduate program director. Either of us would be more than happy to speak to you. Thanks for your interest in the University of Maryland. Have a great day.